On February 23, 2023, the Austrian Federal Minister of Defense, Mag, Claudia Tanner, accompanied by the Chief of the General Staff, General Rudolf Striedinger, announced during a press conference at the Janza Barracks, that approximately 561 million euros would be invested in extending the service life of the Leopard 2A, for main battle tank and the Ulan infantry fighting vehicle. During a press conference at the Janza Barracks, the Austrian Federal Minister of Defense, Mag, Claudia Tanner revealed plans for an investment of approximately 561 million euros. The investment aims to prolong the operational lifespan of the Ulan Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The Ulan, also known as the Ascod Ulan, is an Austro-Spanish armored fighting vehicle that was introduced into the Austrian Army in 2002. Weighing around 28 tons and measuring approximately 9.5 meters in length. The Ulan is equipped with a turret armed with a 30mm Mauser MK30 halves cannon as its main armament. It also features a secondary armament of a 7.62x51mm NATO FN MAG machine gun. In terms of protection, the Ulan is equipped with rolled steel armor and has the option to add explosive reactive armor and composite armor, for enhanced resistance against enemy threats. The Ulan is powered by a diesel engine and utilizes a torsion bar suspension system and pedrafita rotary dampers. It can achieve a maximum speed of 72 km per hour on roads, making it a fast and agile vehicle suitable for various terrains. The Ulan is appreciated for its versatility and can accommodate a crew of three plus an additional eight passengers. In collaboration with General Dynamics European Land Systems Steer, GDEL Steer, a study was conducted in 2021 to identify the components that would need to be replaced to enable Ulan to remain in service for another 15 years. Initially, approximately one-third of all infantry fighting vehicles IFVs, were earmarked for this obsolescence adjustment based on the available budget. However, following the allocation of additional funds through the National Defense Financing Law in response to the crisis in Ukraine, the entire fleet is now included in this program, with an estimated budget of around 370 million euros. The obsolescence adjustment includes a range of measures and activities. Each tank undergoes a complete dismantling and repainting process, resulting in a new green color, RAL 6031, similar to that used for the Panda EVO or the Huser. The standardization of the toolbox size is also visible externally, providing additional storage space. A new, more powerful main aiming device, HZE, will be installed on the front left of the turret, thanks to an initiative by the battalion firing instructor of Panzergrenadier Battalion 35. The previously used HZE will remain a redundancy measure. The driver will have a new, largely digitized instrument panel, and their night vision will be enhanced by a system comprising thermal imaging and low-light cameras with a screen display. The periscope will be replaced by a foldable periscope that allows viewing of the screen. Additionally, front and rear cameras will be available, and the traditional headlights and rear lights will be replaced by LED lights. The entire crew will benefit from a new heater that provides 30% more power than the previous one. All IFVs will also be equipped with stretcher attachment points, allowing them to transport wounded personnel out of the danger zone as needed. These activities will be carried out at the GDEL steer plant in Vienna Simmering. After the first three SPZ vehicles were handed over to GDEL steer following a comprehensive protocol, the first tank was transferred from the Janza barracks to Vienna Simmering on March 9, 2023. It will serve as the prototype for the subsequent fleet, and the Panzergrenadier Battalion 35 is eagerly anticipating the delivery of the first modernized IFVs.